and welcome once again to Stone Soup, the world according to sci-fi geeks. And, and once again, we're doing science. Yep. Chemistry. Of we're going to make variety. something called blonde brownies, mm -hmm. or sometimes blondies. Yes. Now, we've now, heard of them before, but none of us had actually found a recipe before. And people eat our chocolate chip cookies. On the back of the chocolate chip bag, mm -hmm. there's uh, the recipe for the chocolate chip cookies, and it says you can just make one big cookie and cut it up. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we do. Bars. So we have these little square lazy. things. People say, oh, they're blondies. I said, no, they're chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> well, we found a recipe, and now we know why people think our chocolate chip cookies are brownies mm -hmm. or blondies, because they look like them. So, yep. But they're different, because the recipes are different. Yes. So, Although there are similarities. Yeah. We start with two-thirds cup of melted butter. More or less two-thirds, anyway. It better be more than less. Oh, yes. La, 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 la. If you have a microwave, you have no problem with melting butter. Yes. I have two cups of brown sugar here. Now, brown sugar holds its form. Mm -hmm. So That's always amused me. I don't know why. Well, other than the fact I'm can, easily amused. <laughs> yeah. It says to, to cream these two things together. Now, my reaction is, how do I cream it when the butter's already melted? But it's, you know, stir them together until they are one mass. Mm hmm This says to let them cool, but I don't think we're going to need to because we <laughs> spent so much time getting everything ready. I think it's probably cool enough. Yeah. They just don't want you to cook your eggs when you put them in. Mm -hmm. Now, many of the ingredients are the same you know, for blondies and chocolate chip cookies, so the flavor will probably be somewhat similar. I think the biggest difference is going to be in the texture. Yeah. Yeah, that looks advertising. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've changed a few diapers that had contents that looked like this. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I mention who was wearing the diaper? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, all right, you just be that way. Now. There, now. Yep. Now it says, okay, add eggs and vanilla and mix well. Mm -hmm. Hold this egg, please. Holding. You're not supposed to do that, but. <laughs> oh, I do have a knife here for that. <laughs> egg. Swap me. This is how you're supposed to do it. Two eggs. And two teaspoons of vanilla. I know I shouldn't screw around with a, this is a tablespoon that makes it three teaspoons. If you just don't fill it all the way full. And close enough. That's <laughs> close enough. And seriously, you know, an extra teaspoon of vanilla isn't going to hurt anything. Mm -hmm. As memory serves, I've stated before, we have yet to find the baked good that suffered from a little extra vanilla. Yeah, I've even put vanilla in recipes don't call for it. Mm -hmm. Our peanut butter cookies, for example. Yeah, yeah. And everybody loves our peanut butter cookies, so, so there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look at that. That smoothed right out. Yes, it did. I expect one reason you need to cream it is because uh, brown sugar tends to have a lot of lumps in it. This is true. I think no. those are bubbles. Yeah, no, those are bubbles, but there's, there are a few lumps. See, that's a lump. Mm, yes. Oh. There we go. Then, okay, it says to combine the flour, two cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt, which I did before we turned on the cameras. Stir into egg mixture. La, 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 la. Uh, could you have done that all at once? Yeah. Okay. It does not say anything about stirring it in bit by bit. It just says to stir it in. Okay, then. Of course, this is the same recipe that said to cream sugar and melted butter. <laughs> Well, I will admit that I have come across a few recipes, especially online, mm -hmm. where I have the reaction, okay, you didn't proofread this now, did you? Because 
<laughs> that does not make sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, firming up a little now. Well, it would have to. Oh, yes. It says That's what flour is for, after all. Yeah, yeah. And there it is. One jolly little mass of dough. Mm -hmm. It's not a very complicated recipe. No. See, this is much stiffer than chocolate chip cookie dough would be. Mm -hmm. And we still have two things to add. Yes. A cup of nuts. I think I need a few more nuts. I just toasted some. Hold on. Yes. Now, the recipe actually calls for walnuts, but we're putting in pecans because, well, pecans are what we have, and they're like her favorite. Oh, we've got favorite. walnuts, too. Oh. But they're her favorite. So. Yeah. I am a pecan freak. She really, really is. Uh, they didn't That's have time to, to cool it. enough to stiffen Ooh. up. That's okay. The whole kit and caboodle is going in the oven anyway. Mm. Now, one thing that puzzled me when I read this recipe is that it's supposed to fill a 13 by 9 inch pan. It doesn't look like there's it not enough look of there's it. There's going to be enough of it, but looking at that, I guess it will be hard mm. to spread it out. I so, do wonder how much it'll rise. Cup of nuts. Hopefully, not too much. <laughs> well, it depends. Yeah. If it uh, fills up the pan. And a cup of chocolate chips. Now, as you can see, we hate chocolate chips, so mm -hmm. we, we just get a little tiny bag. So we don't have to worry about how to use them. Yeah. And you can just stick your cup in there just like it was flour and get yourself a cup of chocolate chips. Ah, yeah. Oops, it up. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't lead, look extremely similar to chocolate chip cookie dough. Does it? I haven't tasted it yet. I said looks. Oh, yes, it definitely looks. Well, it's butter and brown sugar and mm -hmm. flour. It's mostly now the same ingredients, The frankly. chocolate chip cookie recipe has brown sugar and white sugar. Yes, it does. But, and there we have it. A beautiful, delicious, chocolatey, pecan-y wonderfulness. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, that one didn't get broken up. Try and shame that. <clears throat> Come here, you. <laughs> Never, ever eat raw cookie dough, because it could make you sick. Mm -hmm. But this is raw brownie dough, so hey. There you go. Hmm. Pan. Now, the recipe said to spray the pan. We, we didn't have any spray. We didn't have any spray, so we buttered and floured. Wow. <laughs> it said it'll be thick. Goodness. <laughs> we need a scraper, dear. Going. Oh, yes. We have been preheating the oven at 350 degrees. Yes. Because the recipe started with that. You know, preheat your oven to, to 350 degrees. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh, more of that than it looked. Yeah, we still have to spread it out. Yep. Wow. Now, my idea of brownies is that brownies should have a glossy top when they're cooked. Mm -hmm. That's what makes them not cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Because I made pumpkin brownies once and it turned out to be a cake. Yep. It was a very nice cake. Oh, it was but a it lovely was a cake. cake, but it was not brownies. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our wow, friends, this the Bonhoffs, mm, our friends, the Bonhoffs, were over, and they agreed this was, it was a cake. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, I just tasted just a little bit of this, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I could see making this and just eating the raw dough. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, if it weren't for that whole raw eggs thing. Well, we're not really in the part of the country where the raw eggs thing is a problem. True. God knows I've never run into one that made me sick, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. But that's not to say that it never happens and that you shouldn't be careful. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have had rounds with food poisoning. It was not good. No. It wasn't eggs, but the fact still remains. Food poisoning can be deadly. Mm -hmm. you know, no two ways about it. It can kill you. Her, her dad, my husband, missed by that much. <laughs> Mm. We need to move a little more to this corner. Yeah. <laughs> this corner could use a little more. Okay. You know, when you're spreading things out in a pan, you need to try and make it even, or you're going to wind up with some parts that are burnt, some parts that aren't cooked enough, because one end is like this thick and the other end is this thick, and it's not yeah. good. So I'm doing my best here, but this is really thick dough. Mm -hmm. Did you say anything about sifting the flour? Nope. I don't. <laughs> not a word about sifting the flour, so mm -hmm. I did not screw up. Well, now I'm going to have to cook these for about, well, I think it's 25 or 30 minutes. 35 to 40 minutes. So, oh, it says you can also, it also says that if you want to, you know, once you have this all spread out in the pan, mm -hmm. you can sprinkle more chocolate chips and nuts on the top. I think we might, you know, mm -hmm. pass on that this time. But if we like them, and if the dough is anything to go by, we will, we may consider that for the future. Yeah. Okay. That's how heavy it is. <laughs> it's yeah. not moving. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, see yes. y'all in at least 35 minutes. Yeah. Ta da. Okay. Hello. And, and here is the finished product. 35 minutes later. Yeah. And that Can you lovely, see the gloss? It's got a glossy top, just like brownies are supposed to have. Now, we've been cooling it for five minutes. So, we're going to. The glass is still pretty warm, though. Yeah, the glass is still pretty warm. Look at that. I cut it straight. Miracles happen. <laughs> yes, they do. There is a God. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh-oh. Maybe I'll just... We may need to cool these a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're brownies, and brownies are sort of soft. No, well, that's well, true. <laughs> dang. Wow. Hmm. Well, they're done because toothpick came out. Yes. They're moist. Hot. Still hot, you're dribbling. Uh -huh. mm. And delicious. But can you tell the difference when you're talking about cookies? Mm. Yes, but they are very some. Oh, the cameraman just asked if you can tell the difference between this and a townhouse cookie. Yes, but it's very, very similar. Mm -hmm. I see now why people keep making that mistake. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the you know, as I said in the beginning, the flavor is very similar. It's the texture that's slightly different. Actually, this has more of a butterscotch flavor to it. Mm. I don't know why. Oops. <laughs> Just getting out the rest of the brownie that was still in there. The one that was cut. But I think we're going to have to let this cool just a trifle more. Mm -hmm. It's very bubble. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea what she just <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. I was trying to say around the scorching hot brownie. It's very good, though. Mm -hmm. You may just have brownies and milk for dinner. Not a lot of protein in that. <laughs> so we'll slather some peanut butter on it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>